Hi, I'm Holly Sweat and I have your morning news update for November the 12th. I'm here with Avery Smith who is a reporter today. Avery, what's your story? Well, it was reported that three Hall County schools were on the 2013 Georgia's Alert School list, um, but right now I'm looking in to see if any of our local athens Clark County schools um, made the list this year. Have you found any yet? Um, no, it was supposed to be released today to the public, but it hasn't been, but I'm trying to get a hold of it, so we'll see if, it, if any are. We look forward to finding out what you find out. Thanks, Avery. Now we're here with Ben Bolton, who's doing a story about food nutrition in schools. Uh, ben, what have you found out so far? Well, basically, uh, some of the local schools, high school, middle school, elementary school, are all uh, or progressively have been changing their lunch menus, especially since uh, Michelle Obama in, uh, instituted a healthier uh, school lunch act, basically. Um, and so my story today is seeing where that's at now um, and what kids are eating on a day-to-day -day basis. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Ben. Now I'm here with today's on-air producer, Kendall Lane. Kendall, what are you most excited about with today's show? Well. The producer's job, which is my job today, is to set up the actual rundown of the show and I'm putting together the A Block right now and what I'm focusing on most and I think is most important is the weather, um, privatized foster care and the Braves relocating, kind of putting a local spin on that. What's going on with the weather? Is there anything our viewers need to know? Well, the freeze watch is the most important thing and we're also going to have a reporter talk about maybe how one community in Athens is going to prepare for this cold weather and how it might be harder for them than, say, others. And then you mentioned the Braves. Uh, do you have any um, idea of where that story is going yet? Well, we have a fun reporter on that story, and what he's going to focus on is maybe the difficulties and challenges that Northeast Georgia residents will have when they are commuting to Braves games now that um, they're talking about relocating over to Cobb County. Well, thank you, Kendall. That's all we have for you this morning. Tune back in in a couple of hours for our noon update. I'm Holly Sweat.